We are 13 days out as of right now. I'm going to try to upload this video today. Uh, today is Saturday. And uh, energy levels are low for sure. But what we're going to do today, it's going to be a little vlog, but we're going to do a QA and a uh, throughout the vlog. Uh, I see, I've seen Will Tennyson do it like this, where he kind of goes out through the day and answers like questions at different parts of the day. So, uh, I would imagine that all you guys are following me on Instagram, seeing that's where my audience is bigger, but I got all the questions from Instagram, and uh, we're just going to go through and answer a couple of them. We got our morning coffee. We are actually headed to LA Fitness right now, so I just got a membership at LA Fitness, uh, just because it's two minutes up the road. Uh, that way I can just like, if I want to knock out cardio in the morning, I can, or like if I don't feel like making a half hour drive to, uh, absolute recomp, like I can just quick over, quick little drive over to, uh, LA Fitness. So we're going to head over there. We're going to do our fastest cardio and then we're going to do some posing. These fucking ice shakers are dog shit. Helo mix is way better. I just got coffee all over my crotch and my phone. So, great start to the morning. I'll catch you guys at the gym. You know, one thing that I forgot about going to a commercial gym is there's lots of characters. Uh, lots of interesting people. I'm like, spoiled. We're going to like these, like, uh, signature gyms, which a lot of you guys don't have in your areas. You guys only have, like, the commercial gyms. So, I'm telling you, if you guys have, like, a more, like, exclusive kind of gym or, like, a non franchise gym, definitely worth checking it out but we are going to run the stairmaster i'm not too excited for it i really don't like the stairmaster but it is what it is right no excuse we got to get to it all right so i took a bunch of screenshots from my post on the gram so let's get right into it roll ask what advice would you give people that are training to grow and get bigger so i get a ton of questions uh and a ton of DMs where people ask like to rate their physique. Like look, if you want to put on size, you need to be in a cap. Alright, we ran into some technical difficulties. This battery pack is gonna die too. Fuck. This is my advice to a lot of you guys. Uh stop cutting. You need to be in a surplus, which is a bulk. I recommend a lean bulk over like a dirty bulk. But if you want to put on muscle, you gotta optimize it. You have to be in a bulk. Depending on your genetics, you may lose your abs. Some people can hold on to their abs. That's all genetic based on where you hold your fat. But you need to bulk. You're not going to put on size main gaining. And you're not going to put on size cutting. Now, if you have elite genetics, you might be able to body recomp on a cut. Or you might be able to put a little bit of size main gaining. But if you want to optimize it, especially all, all you younger guys out there, go into that bulk. How can I balance building muscle and having a cardio, I'm guessing cardio routine is what he meant. So, if you guys are bulking, I still recommend to do cardio. Your heart is a very important muscle, and your cardiovascular uh, system is way more important than your biceps, or your chest, or your lats. So, I'd recommend like, you know, like an hour of cardio a week while in a bulk. Right now, I'm doing seven hours of cardio. So, I do an hour of cardio every day. It doesn't have to be that intense. Just get up and move, and it could be going for a walk. It could be playing basketball, it could be whatever. But, get up and move. Don't just sit on your ass. Hopefully that helps your, uh, helps you, Mateus. Probably fucked up your name. But we're going to grind out the Stairmaster. We're dripping in sweat, we got 50 minutes left. I will catch you guys, probably when we get back home. So we've finished up cardio. I don't know about you guys, but cardio gives me like the worst gas. And my gas, I don't know if it's from the low carbs, high protein or me just being really lean is awful but i'm excited because we get to go home and eat stock up on some carbs and then i believe we're gonna send it to the warehouse uh i told nick that i wanted to help out in the warehouse kind of regretting that now because i feel like shit but gotta keep pushing all right joe so we're back from cardio i showered we were 186.6 that's the lowest weight yeah, my energy levels are complete dog shit. Like, I feel dead. We're gonna get some food in us, but let's answer some more questions here. Biggest challenge thus far during prep? This comes from 002 G Baby. So, this is a great question. 
uh, the biggest challenge has just been uh, staying focused mentally uh, and like try not to give in to like temptations especially like you guys know I stay at the rise house so when like people come into town they're not on prep so they're eating whatever they want so trying to stay disciplined with the diet uh, trusting the process and then honestly cardio man cardio takes so much out of me I'm trying to keep my energy up right now but I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm fucking worn out like I feel like I just went rounds you know what I'm saying you know like that post not slumber type shit that's how I feel but it's fucking post cardio uh, we are looking fucking diced though <sighs> super fucking lean but we got no energy, but we get to eat and we get to eat some carbs. Um, so I'm going to make a breakfast and then we'll sit down and we'll answer some more questions. I also got a little unboxing. Uh, I got something that came in the mail today. So I'll catch you guys for breakfast. All right. So we kind of fast forward a little bit. I fucked up that food. Oh my God. It was fucking amazing. I was on the phone with the bird uh, and I just like sat down and enjoyed. But we got ourselves an unboxing. We got to fix this camera angle though. We need to be up a little bit. So, shout out Vu Ray. So, they sent me this here bag. Uh, we're gonna open it up. It's like a, a meal prep bag. But, I found some more questions that I wanted to answer. So, coming from A underscore train underscore web, who is your sexy ass coach and is he taking on clients? Uh, that is my coach, by the way. And yes, he is taking on clients, and our fucking battery's gonna die. Bro, what the f Alex is indeed my coach. He's also the Rise affiliate uh, director as well, and he is taking on clients. So if you guys are interested in uh, prepping for a show, whether it's the off season, uh, or if you're looking to do a show, say 12, 16 weeks out, definitely hit Alex up. Just shoot him a DM. I'll put his at on the screen, probably like right here for you guys. All right, the next question. Boyd underscore A asks, how do you make your chest leaner and tighter? Well, you can't spot reduce fat, right? So I can't just decide, oh, I just want to lose all my fat in my chest. It doesn't work like that. But overall, just lowering your body fat percentage, being in a calorie deficit, you'll start to lose fat like all over. Eventually, you get to the point where you lose it on your chest. Another thing for making it, say, like tighter is building up your chest muscles, you know, uh, having more muscle will make you look leaner at a higher body fat percentage. So let's see what this is all about. We don't need that. That was awfully loud. Ooh. So I don't have a code or anything for them. Uh, they just, just sent this out, just looking out for the, for the homie. Ooh, please. All right. So I believe these bags, these insulated bags retail for $90. Uh, so you have just a little side pocket here, nice solid straps. The quality on this is actually kind of dope. Uh, let's open up this big pocket up top, let's see what we got. Oh, so like you can throw your, like your laptop in here, like I could throw, throw the MacBook in here. That's pretty dope. So it's got like a little laptop holder. So like, this is great for work, shit like that. We have a top pocket here. Uh, now we're getting into like insulated. Oh, it's got memory foam in here, we don't need that. So it's all insulated. Uh, it's got a little pouch in the back where you could put like uh, your, uh, what are they called? It's not like ice pack, but you know what I'm talking about. To keep everything insulated. And then down here on the bottom, it opens up and you have the tray where you could stack like your meals. Uh, stack up all your meal prep. It's also got some, uh, some little zippers on here where you could throw you know, say like the silverware, shit like that. So we are going to put a couple meals in here and uh, get ready and head to the warehouse. So I'll catch you guys at the warehouse. So we're not going to the warehouse. Uh, Nick did not get back to me in time. Uh, and so like I didn't end up making a drive over there, but we are eating meal number two for the day, which is six ounces of rice, lettuce. We got our diet drink. Just sitting here watching some YouTube videos. And I was like, you know what? Let's answer some questions. I'm not gonna lie, my energy is super low. I was chilling on the couch, uh, and I was fucking dead, but peep this. We finally did it. Can we focus here? We hit 200K on TikTok. 
It's been a long time coming. I know for some people like that's not that big, but definitely have gone through a slump with my account and it's nice to see that we are going in the right direction. Joey Street, 2005, ask, what do you think your weakest points are and how do you plan on bringing them up? Uh, I think my weaker points are my hamstrings. They need to be brought up just to match the pure size of my quads. And then my tricep and biceps, uh, I would like to be brought up as long, along with my delts, really my chest too. Like everything needs to be brought up upper body wise. I want my lats bigger. So what I plan on doing, obviously we're deep into the prep, can't really do anything now, but depending on what national show we do or like next bulk, gonna focus a lot more on those areas. Uh, just to like even out the physique because we do have a weight cap therefore we can only get so heavy Hayden Jacob underscore two asks, what keeps you going when you don't have energy to work out so today I still need to lift I mean I could take an off day but I still need to go lift I don't know what I'm gonna hit but I just gotta like remind myself that like this shit is temporary like you know you gotta see the end goal in mind like there's someone out there outworking me I don't want to get to the point where I feel like, oh, I could have done more because then if I don't get achieve the results that I want and I could have done more, I can't go back, right? So I'm fucked. So that's what really keeps me going is just, is just really just going into the mental state. And so like lately, a lot of the lifts have been a big mental game. So like driving to the gym, like just like focus, just like thinking about like what I have to go do before I used to just go in there and kind of do whatever. Now it's a little more like thought out. I may not use my phone. I may not put headphones in. Like the gym I go to, AR, they bump good music, so I don't always need headphones. So I might go no headphones, because then if the wrong song is on, then I want to change my, my, my song. I end up picking up my phone, I look at the notifications, you know, just to stay like, like super like locked in. Uh, so that, that's pretty much it. It's just like a mental game, you know, the pre-workout helps a bit, but yeah, we're gonna fuck up this meal. I'm gonna watch some more YouTube. Uh, we're, we're gonna train today. I think we're gonna go to get AR. I think we're gonna hit some chest. I don't know. We're kind of just chilling right now. There's some stuff I gotta do around the house. Uh, but I will catch you guys in the next clip. So some time has passed. We laid down. Uh, I really was not feeling going to the gym. I wasn't going to go to the gym, but I was on TikTok. Uh, my coach had duetted one of my videos. Uh, we'll be being lean, basically, like, you know, if this is an instructor, the naysayers, yada, yada, yada. And he went on to talk about uh, how he's super excited, uh, how I'm killing it. He's got me on, like, low carbs. Uh, cardio's still high. He's very excited for the package that we're going to bring in two weeks. And then how, uh, like, basically talk about how he thinks that I can get my pro card this year. And I'm not going to lie, I told you guys earlier, I talked about a little bit, this is a big mental game. And that really, like, you know, I was like, yeah. I was like, let's go fucking kill it. So, we're about to head to the gym right now. I may do some more questions uh, when we get there. May not. Alright, so you guys are seeing this video way later than, uh, than when I filmed it. I've just been busy with no energy. So, like... Uh, today we, we knocked out the website, uh, updated all that shit. We updated some merch. We took some designs off, added an, a new uh, item on there. We added the How Bad You Want It hoodie on there uh, that just says bad with How Bad You Want It written all over it. Um, we pick up floors tomorrow at 5, like 6 in the morning. Uh, so it's 9 now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty beat. We've been just cleaning the house, getting the house ready for all the boys coming. So we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed like this Q and A and shit. Uh, definitely we'll do better next time. Uh, kind of like lost focus and shit on there, but you guys have been killing it, support. And everyone that used my code for Anaka, holy shit, you guys are you guys are a different breed, honestly. Uh, same for Rise as well. You guys are killing the code. Uh, when you guys see this video. Uh, Baja Burst is back in stock Electric Lemonade Pump Powder Which hasn't been in stock for a very long time And then Cherry Limeade BCAAs And EAAs Are all back in stock They're not going to be in stock long I'm telling you those are going to go fast And I'm not just saying it As always, it's been real, it's been true 
It's your boy, J-Lane, and go chase your motherfucking dreams.